Just over a month ago, Jalen Carter was considered a lock for the top five picks in the 2023 NFL Draft. A lot of analysts, including myself, had him as the number one overall player in the entire class. Now, there's a very good chance that he does go outside the top 10. It's becoming an increasingly likely scenario. So how did we get to that point? Back in December, Todd McShay made a lot of waves in the draft community as he called into question Jalen Carter's character. Within these statements, McShay said, with Carter, there are some character issues. Does he get along with everybody? What's he like to deal with in the locker room? Those sorts of issues. These claims were largely dismissed at the time as there was no real evidence of any kind of wrongdoing from Carter as far as his character. But obviously, now as the truth has come out, there was some legitimate reason behind McShay making those claims. Carter was charged with two misdemeanors in reckless driving, as well as racing in an incident that involved the death of one of his Georgia teammates as well as a staff member. Carter will not receive any jail time or real substantial penalties for this action, but certainly something to note as he has had you know, some issues with this in the past and particularly now that that has come out, McShay's claims really do seem to have some merit. As the draft approaches with pro days, workouts, team meetings with these players, a lot more information has been coming out about potentially where these players might go. And I think Jalen Carter in particular has had some incredibly interesting tidbits. First up at Georgia's Pro Day, Carter showed up nine pounds heavier than he was at the combine. He looked out of shape. His conditioning looked really bad. He wasn't able to finish some of the drills that they were putting him through. I think generally speaking, he just looked very unimpressive. He looked out of shape. He didn't look like he was prepared at that Georgia Pro Day to really put on his best for NFL teams. So I definitely think that was a concerning sign. Even after everything that he has gone through, I think NFL teams still wanted to see him perform very well at that Pro Day. Did not do so. So that was something that first off was not a great start for Jalen Carter when it comes to this part of the process. Some front offices and coaches have also come out and kind of you know, not really shown a lot of support for Jalen Carter and the character that he has. Lions coach Dan Campbell came out and spoke on a very interesting conversation that he had with one of Carter's teammates at Georgia. Wouldn't really elaborate past the fact that it was very interesting, but just the fact that he brought it up makes me wonder if it was something that they didn't know and that was very negative uh, regarding Carter's character and some of the things that he was able to do at Georgia within the locker room and with that team. Reportedly, the Las Vegas Raiders, as well as multiple other other teams have removed Jalen Carter from their draft board entirely. I think for the Raiders in particular, they were the only specific team named, but for them, they have been burned badly by character issues in the past. You think of Henry Ruggs, Damon Arnett, just to name a few in recent memory. I think it would make sense if they were out on Jalen Carter, but reportedly they are not the only team that have him off of their draft board at this point. And I do think that there is a real chance that he slides outside of the top 10. What makes this so difficult is that Jalen Carter on the field is potentially the best player in the entire draft class. His unique combination of size, speed, athleticism, burst is truly impressive. He really does have all of the traits that you look for in an elite level defensive tackle and definitely could be a cornerstone of any defense if he was able to keep his act together off the field. He's very good when it comes to gap responsibility in the run game. He's able to two gap. He's able to penetrate into the backfield, really blow up plays at the point of attack. He He's very, very disruptive when it comes to the run game, and he has great gap responsibility and intangibles knowing where that play is going. He also is a very real weapon when it comes to pass rushing, which is very difficult to find at the defensive tackle position. He has a very advanced toolkit of moves in the pass rush game. He has a great swim move that he goes to often, can bull rush very effectively, uses his hands very well to get into the offensive lineman's chest, and uses their momentum against them very well, has great leverage and really just understands how to attack the offensive lineman. That's a very rare trait for a defensive tackle, and he shows it on a very consistent basis. Not taking into account any of the off-the-field uncertainty, Jalen Carter would have finished as my number one prospect in the entire NFL draft, higher than Will Anderson, higher than Bryce Young. He was the best among all of them. 
but with the character concerns, I have some legitimate worries about him and his ability to fit into a locker room, fit into the culture of a team. That's so critically important. When you're drafting a player, especially in the top 10, they have to match the ideals of the organization. And so I understand the hesitancy of some of these teams to not want to bring someone in that they don't think can fit their culture. That's why I think there is a real chance that Carter falls outside the top 10 and potentially slides maybe even to the mid first round. I am very curious where he will end up going in this draft. Let me know down below where you think he should go. Where would you be willing to take Jalen Carter? Even with the off the field concerns, is he worth the risk to take in the top 10? While you're down there, please hit that subscribe button as well. Helps really grow this channel out. Push it out to other NFL draft fans just like yourself on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So really appreciate your support throughout this whole process. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.